heard of the United Nations? Okay, where's the African American delegation in the United Nations? Who represents for us? Do Al Sharpton sit at those tables? Jesse Jackson? Umar Johnson? No. See, you laughing like, come on, it's a joke. All right, so all praise. So the hand that all that hate us. So we see that God, God's chosen people have enemies. Y'all see that, right? That the so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans on this side right here are God's chosen people. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. And you can see that every other nation hates us, right? Do you got to ask yourself, why is that? Give me uh, Psalms 83. Let's get let's get the uh, the hit list. I'm gonna show y'all in the Bible, according to the Bible, that God has enemies. But what happens when you're a nation of people and you really hate God because He has a chosen people, but you can't you can't really touch God, right? You can't box with God. So what do you do? Who do you try to harm? You try to harm the people that's closest to Him, His right. chosen people. Like if 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 I had a a, a father. And somebody hated my dad, but my dad's no longer here. What is he going to do? He's going to try to come after me. That's the same thing written in the Bible about the nations. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 1. Uh -huh. yeah. Keep not thy silence, O God. Right. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O God. Uh -huh. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. So the Bible says... Your enemies, God, make a tumult. That means a noisy gathering. All the other nations that God created, he only chose one. And all the other nations are jealous of that one nation that God chose. So they make a noisy tumult. They try to fight against God's chosen people. But let's read what he says. Read. And they that hate, and they that hate thee have and they, they and they that hate thee, meaning that they that hate the most high God, read have lifted up the head. They lift up their head proudly against all the people on this side, the so-called American blacks, the so-called Hispanics, the Haitians, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, the 12 tribes of Israel. They lifted up their head against us. What? They put us in ghettos, reservations, redlining. And what? What did we go through? The transatlantic slave trade. Bring it up. That happened when the other nations did that to God's chosen people. Keep reading. They up. have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have taken crafty counsel. Now what does that mean? Crafty counsel. Don't you know that the so-called white man has think tanks? Have you heard that? What's your name, Brother David? Yeah. All right, so y'all heard of the United Nations? Yeah. Okay. Where's the African American delegation in the United Nations? Bring it out. Who do we have to represent when they have these world meetings? When all the nations get together and talk about policies and talk about things that are happening in the earth? Where who represents for us? Do Al Sharpton sit at those tables? Jesse Jackson? Umar Johnson? No. See, you laughing like, come on, it's a joke. No, that's because all the other nations have committed crafty counsel against God's people. Keep reading. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Now, we are the hidden ones. Why are we hidden? Because every 20 to 30 years, what they call us changes. So, what do you call yourself? What's your nationality, if I were to ask you, Brother David? I'm African-American. You say African-American. Now, what would you say, sis? African American, well, what about you, little bro? And what you sis? Okay, so y'all all say African American, right? So that's two words. Africa is a continent that has 55 nations on it. Which one of those do you belong to? <laughs> See how that don't make sense? African American, right? And then America. You got North America, you got South America, and you got Central America. Then you got nations and countries in between. So how can you be a hyphenated nationality? You can't be two places at once, right? That's crafty counsel. That's, we're the hidden ones. We're the ones calling ourselves American black, Jamaican, Haitian, Puerto Rican. Well, God called you the 12 tribes of Israel. That's but keep reading. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. So he said, the other nations have said, come, let us cut God's chosen people off from being a nation. Because before they called us African-American, now brother Dave, you not, might not be old enough to remember this, 
But before they called us African American, what was it, my sister? Do you know? Negro. Right. Negro. Before Negro or after Negro, it was Afro American, which isn't even a nationality. That's a hairstyle. Right. So how you go from African American, Afro American, Negro, colored? Why do our nationality change every 20 to 30 years? Bring it out. Oh, now they got something new. Now they saying FBA. Foundational Black American. Have y'all heard that term before? That's the new one that they're using. Or it's another one called uh, ADOS, African Descendants of Slavery. So why is it that our people so confused? I mean, y'all all happen to say the same thing, but if I got 10 other so-called black folks, they will all say something different. Oh, I'm Negro, or oh, I'm Egyptian, or oh, I'm ADOS, or whatever it is. That's because we're the hidden ones of God. He's trying to show us that we are his chosen people. Be read. They have said, come. Let us cut them off from being a nation. So let's cut them off from their true identity as the Israelites, according to the Bible, right? Israel. That the name of Israel. That the name of what? The name of Israel uh -huh. may be no more in remembrance. So we don't remember that we, the Jews, we don't remember that God calls us the 12 tribes of Israel. We forgot that here in America. We forgot that here in the lands of our captivity, my brother. You can't be a hyphenated nationality. Africa was named after a white man named Leo Scipio Africanus. He was a Roman general who defeated Hannibal in the Second Punic War. America was named after an Italian navigator, another so-called white man named Amerigo Vespucci. Do y'all look like y'all just sent from two white men? No. So you can't be African American. And plus, on top of that, that title African American did become uh, popular until 1985. So for some of us, how could we be older than our nationality? So what was what? So if African American just started in 1985, so we didn't exist before then. Think about that. We've been told lies here. Keep reading. For they have consulted together with one consent. Uh huh. They are confederate against thee. They are confederate against thee because all the other nations have proverbs and bywords against us. Guess what? They call you nigga here in Indianapolis or, or I'm sorry, Indiana and Kentucky and Ohio, no matter where you at. They all have some derogatory terminology against God's chosen people. Right. Read on. The tabernacles of Edom. Now the tabernacle, now God goes into the different nations that have hatred towards us. Edom. Edom means red. There's no such thing as a, a white man on the earth. We say so-called white man because white is like that car behind you. But there's nobody that color, right? They're really red because the blood shows through their skin. So Edom, that's what we call the so-called white man, read. And the Ishmaelites. Those are the Arabs, read. And Moab. Moab, the so-called Chinese man today, they also have hatred against God's people. Read on. And the Hagarines. Uh-huh. Gabal. Right. And Ammon. Right. And Amalek. Amalek, that's the Jewish man. That's the man today calling himself a Jew, but he really took our nationality. That's our history and heritage. Read on. The Philistines. Uh -huh. With the inhabitants of Tyree. Right. Assure. Also is joined with them. So all these nations have joined a confederation against us, against God's chosen people. 